Hi there, Frank here from Remek. And in this short video, I'd like to show you what's new in 3.95, version 3.95 of the Remek Momentum Pro standalones that just came out today. And I'm going to use a four hour chart to demonstrate the situation here. So, as you know, we trade the reemergence of momentum out of consolidation areas. And we trade with the trend. So, obviously, job number one in the code is to identify the trend. Now, there's many ways to identify the trend. Libraries have been filled with the topic. And of course, no method is ever able to give us 100% accuracy. The other thing is that we need a mathematical way of defining the trend because we are working with an algorithmic signal. All right. So having said all that, we have four ways of defining the trend in our algorithm. The all four are good. However, there are some little differences which have been documented, of course, in our documentation and about which I'm going to say a few words now. All right, so let's go to the Remek Momentum Pro indicator in this case. And here's the trend definition, trend filter type it's called in the program. You see four options. Now, what is new here is that with the first three, it was possible to select the definition and also show the definition on the chart visually. If I choose Coral Filter as a mathematical definition or version of it, then it is possible to go down here to Display Options and show the Coral. I'm going to show it to you right away. So if I choose the Coral Filter as the trend definition, then here we go. Nice and thick, so for demonstration purposes, it's perfect. This is, in this case, we're using the mathematical formula of the Coral Filter, <clears throat> excuse me, to define the trend. Obviously, after the trend starts here, let's have a look. When this turns blue, this is where the trend starts. The first pullback right after, well, complex pullback at that, is already identified by the algorithm as the most ideal candle to enter a long trade on. And look at this. Here's the second one. Again, almost, well, it is the most ideal candle to enter the trade on. And there are two more. Okay. So this is a example of how the trend would be defined with the Coral Theater. Now, I am, of course, able to change this to another one, which you will often see on our charts because I often use that one as a default in my work, is the ADX VMA, again, our version of it. And if, if I choose the ADX VMA as the trend definition in the mathematical code, then I'm also able to switch to the ADX VMA option in the display options, which is just visual. And then I will see the ADX VMA on the chart Slightly different, you see, in the case of the ADX VMA, the trend starts a little bit later here on this candle. Okay, but otherwise, the differences are quite slim. Remek Composite. Now, what is the composite? The composite is a weighted average of the other three. So, this provides extra security or an extra layer of confidence or support because what it does is that when two out of the three are true, then we get a true signal from the composite. That's why it's called composite. Now, if I choose composite, the mathematics was done all along. It was done in the code, but there was no way to show the composite, the beginning of the composite trend on the chart. This option was missing here. It is just a visual convenience and confidence when we trade, but it's an important factor of success to understand and to see what we are doing on the chart, obviously. So now we have included an option to show the Remek Composite trend. Let's have a look. And I'm just going to make it a little thicker so we can see this. And you will notice instantly that we are using the Keltner midline actually to show the composite trend. The composite trend, as the name suggests, is composite. So it doesn't really has its own line. It just shows where two out of the three are true. That point is 
in this case, starts here. This is where two out of the three becomes true, and we still have a long trend. Also to the short side, this is the point where two out of the three becomes true. All right, so going back, you can see when the composite begins. And very simply, this is just the simply the SMA or the EMA Keltner midline, depending on which one you choose, and that will show the trend. Okay, so now again, just to sum it up, we have four ways to identify the trend. So far in previous versions, all four could be used, of course, in the mathematical code, but only three could be shown on the chart itself. And now that has changed. Now all four can be shown on the chart. So whichever you choose, you can go down to display options and choose the appropriate trend definition visually. Now, I know what you're going to ask. Is it possible to choose, let's say, the coral filter in the mathematical code, but to display the ADX VMA on the chart? And the answer is yes, because the display options are not tied smartly, if I may say so, are not tied to the mathematics running in the background. So one thing is to select which mathematical formula you want to inject into the algorithm and use in the algorithm. That's one thing. And there's another thing to which one you want to display on the chart, ADX, VMA, Coral Filter, or the composite. You can even display all three or all four, but only one of them, whichever you choose here, will be used in the mathematical code in the actual mathematical calculation in the algorithm. So this is how it works. All right, so I'm just going to select composite and only show the composite on the chart. Here we go, click OK, and this is what's new in 395. All right, this is it for now. Enjoy Labor Day, and we'll be back soon. Until then, mindful trading.